Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a stuck sump pump float. A stuck float can prevent your sump pump from working properly and can lead to water damage in your home. But don't worry, this is an easy fix that you can do yourself. Let's take a look at this sump pump. As you can see, there's a green sump pump sitting at the bottom of the sump pit. On the side, you'll notice a white ball, that's the float. The float is connected to a lever, which serves as the switch to turn the pump on and off. As the water level in the sump pit rises, the float goes up and the pump turns on, pushing the water out. Conversely, as the water level drops, the float goes down and the pump turns off. This is the basic operation of the sump pump. If you ever need to check the functionality of your sump pump, you can do so by crawling into your crawl space and finding the sump pit. Once there, you can pull the float up and see if the pump kicks on. If it doesn't, it's time to replace the sump pump. But if it does, then there's likely no issue. Most problems with sump pumps occur when the float gets stuck, often against the side of the sump pit. This happens when the pump moves around a bit when it kicks on. But checking the float on your sump pump is an easy fix. If it's stuck, you can simply pull the pump over and solve the problem. If it doesn't kick on, however, then you'll need to have the pump replaced. There are several ways to fix the sump pump float stuck. The first thing you should consider doing is checking the water level in the pump's basin. Pour some water into the basin to raise the float and operate the pump if the water level is lower than the float. Next, remove the float switch. You can also try cleaning the float or adjusting its position to keep it from sticking. If none of these works, you may need further examination. You'll need a screwdriver, a wrench, a hammer, and a replacement float to properly inspect and repair the jammed some pump float. Firstly, remove the pump cover and check for blockages. Check if the pump is getting power. Then, test the float switch by lifting it and checking its movement. And lastly, make sure the float switch is not blocked by debris. The sump pump float is stuck only if the float is not damaged. If the sump pump floats stuck due to raw particles or algae buildup on the valve, clean it with a wet cloth. Try gently pressing and pulling on it to dislodge it. Clear the blockage and try again if the float has become stuck due to debris or something caught in the valve. If your sump pump float is stuck despite cleaning, it may be time to replace it. Let me show you how to replace the float switch in your sump pump. First, run the sump pump until all water drains from the sump basin. Once the water is fully drained, disconnect the sump pump's power source. Consult your sump pump manual to locate the float switch on your pump. Once you've found the float switch, remove it from the pump unit. Next, unscrew the connections on the float switch housing. Inside, you'll find the power switch. Carefully remove the old switch and replace it with a new one, making sure to use waterproof glue to secure it in place. Let the glue completely dry before reassembling the switch and installing it back in the pump. Once you've reassembled the switch and installed it back in the pump, turn the power back on and test the sump pump to make sure the float switch is working properly. And that's it. With these simple steps, you can easily replace a float switch in your sump pump. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos.